We have an 1165 at the intersection of Chavez and Soto. Yeah, we got a 1056 here at the Soto Projects. Team Brown Girl on the fourth story ledge. Oh shit. Ten five to Holland Beck Station. Request for an eleven forty one. Eleven forty one. What is that? I haven't heard that in a while. Damn, that's needed. Well, I guess it's gonna be an exciting night. I've seen at the soda projects. So, do you think soda projects grow jumps or does something else? I um, I, I think it was pretty obvious that she jumped. Didn't you hear the dispatcher? Shit. What did they say again? I was too busy looking up the code. They, um, they said it was a 1056, which is a suicide attempt. And she was on the ledge of a four story building. Four stories? Fuck. I didn't even think we had buildings that tall. You know, those projects, they look like they're maybe like a story and a half tall, but I can't really tell. Yeah, yeah. Wait. You said it was a 1056, not a 1056A? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Then there it is, man. She didn't jump. I was right. What? Why? A 1056A is a suicide attempt. A 1056 means that the deed has already been done. Now, for a moment, you gotta think about it. They did call the ambulance pretty fast. Think you'll tune in tonight? Yeah, I do it every night. And every time you ask me that, I tell you this. But for this area? Yeah. It's what I usually scan for. I mean, it's most familiar. Have you ever tried scanning in another place? Or looking up the dispatcher for another place? Yeah, of course, man. San Francisco, Chicago, Detroit, New York. You know, I just never, uh, never enjoyed it as much. Hmm. Bye? Wait. Do you think the Soto Grill really killed herself on the ledge, not from the ledge? Bye, dude. Bye. Bye. within walking distance of here. We have the 311 for 1029 M. Have you ever intercepted before? <laughs> you mean like, try to help the criminal? No, no, not necessarily. Just ever went to see or do anything? Oh, hell no, dude. Fuck that, man. 
Hey, listen. You know, it's it's like TV. I accept that it's a whole different reality than mine. Yeah, but this is police scanners. It is our reality. It surrounds us. Okay, no, stop. Yeah, don't start talking that vigilante shit. You, you know, like... I do this for fun, you know? It's my hobby. Yeah, but hobbies expand. You know, they, they reach a certain moment where you can recognize that they're worth making an investment. Yeah, that's true. But I'm not willing to invest my life for freedom. Do you think the cops would care? I don't think that they like us being able to listen in on them. That's what I think they care about. And you know, it becomes like some sort of code of rules, yeah? Like the Hammurabi free range code of scanners? Don't intercept. What do you mean they don't want us listening in on them? I've never heard anything about that before. You have? Yeah. It is legal to tap into conversations even as it may seem like a breach of privacy. Mm -hmm. The justifying factor behind it, though, is that the callers must be aware that they are being monitored. Anyway, so one day, after a lot of scanning, I called the station to complain. Because nobody responded to pick up the call for a 273A, which is child neglect. The next day, the first call I make is to my father. And I hear a message play ever so quietly at the beginning of the call. This call is being monitored by the LAPD. No way. You're crazy, dude. You're crazy. I knew I should have never believed mm -hmm. you and your crazy conspiracy theories. <laughs> this is what people warn me about scanning for. Because they know that after years it will get you paranoid and that, my friend, is my explanation for you. Uh, dude, believe what you want. I can only present the truth to you as I saw it. Exactly as I saw it. Now wear a foil hat next time you scan. I'm gonna get going. Now. Another off duty. Ten twenty five at the three two two nine address. Confirmed. 10.30 at 3229 address. Oh, shit. Ready to be taken into custody. 